There we go. We're live. Hello, <laughs> Facebook and YouTube. It's about that time again for Snack Crate unboxing. And this month we have Mexico. So let's see what we have tonight. Mexico. And on the back it says Bueno. Bueno. <laughs> And we're going to read the introduction part. Remember that part that they have like little That's good. fun facts. So we won't go into the geography part of it, but we have stickers. Oh, I love the little skeleton head guy. The Day of the yeah. Dead guy. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're looking at little Day of the Dead guy, which I totally love these stickers, Fun facts. The official name of Mexico is the United Mexican States. Did you know that? I don't know, I don't know that. <laughs> Mexico introduced chocolate, corn, and chili peppers to the world. Mm. Mexico is home to a very rare rabbit called the Volcano Rabbit, rabbit and it lives near Mexican volcanoes. Stone tools have been found in Mexico that date human settlement to 23,000 years ago. And Mexican children do not receive presents on Christmas Day. They open gifts on January 6th when Mexicans celebrate the arrival of the three wise men. And that's Three Kings Day, and it is... I don't speak Spanish, but it is called El Dia de El Dia de Reyes. So those are your fun facts from Mexico. And without further ado, ooh, this looks like we may have lollipops in this box. There we go. I'm just trying to figure out how to pronounce some of them. All right, so we're about to get into all this right here. Let's see what happens. And this is the best best time of the month. This is just so much fun. Anyone who does not subscribe to Snack Crate, you have to look into it because it is fun and educational. <laughs> okay, so we have. Takis, 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 a rolled crispy tortilla snack available in many flavors. We have included the guacamole flavor in this month's crate. So, guacamole chips. Oh, they're not chips. They're like little straws. They're like little straws. Like little, like little, chips. little straws. So, they're basically chips. They're chips. They're they round. taste almost uh, like little tortillas wrapped Actually, up. They're little tortillas. They're very good. But they're crunchy. They're very like crunchy. chips. But like a thicker. They're, they're rolled up Doritos. They're like rolled up <laughs> Doritos. You Man. can see the little... When you look at them close up, they are like rolled up burritos, and they are very tasty. They are very tasty. Okay. Okay. I might need a napkin. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you. This might be some BS, but... Okay, those are Barcel Toreadas, Zesty Kettle Cooked Potato Chips, Flavored with, oh yum, lime and chipotle. Sounds really good. Mm -hmm. I like lime and chipotle. Mm -hmm. This kind of looks like a potato chip. Looks like a barbecue chip. Mm. They're very limey. Mm. They're, they're spicy. They're not terribly spicy, But though. not horribly spicy, no, but they're spicy, and... It's like, ooh, my mouth is warm. 
They are very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, we are two for two. I need a little water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He gets the water and I get the wine. Mmm, I like them both. All right. Okay, we have Totis. Totis chips. So we have lots of chips with Mexico. And Totis chips are popular flavored chips made from wheat and shaped like little donuts, a favorite Mexican treat. What's up, Robert? <laughs> Robert, our brother? No, Robert. Hit. Oh, hi, Robert. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Uh. <laughs> and we miss you. Oh. So. I like little Cheeto things. Little round, yeah, looking like little Cheetos. They're like Cheetos. <laughs> These are really soft and fluffy. They are. They're very good. I thought they were going to be hotter than what they are. Totis Donitas. Mmm. I like these. So far, Mexico is like so three far, for three. Mexico, Mexico is really good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, four, three. Three for three. Oh yeah, it's about to get good. I already know. So when we get down to South Carolina, Robert, we have to have a we'll have to have a big snack crate and have an Aiken family snack crate. How about that? Okay, so we have with this one Gancito. Gancito is Mexico's answer to a Twinkie, featuring a delicious vanilla cake. Filled with strawberry jelly and coated in rich chocolate and chocolate sprinkled sprinkles. And then it says in capital letters, so good. <laughs> hello, Lisa Lewis and Robert Unglad and hello, Colum. <laughs> Oops. Bad boy, I didn't want to yeah, I'll do one. Yeah. Yeah. It's in another wrapper. That's so mean. It looks like a Twinkie. Alright, so yep, it is basically looking like a Twinkie. Chocolate covered Twinkie. Looks like it got a little rough there. Probably a little bit of heat when it comes in the mail. <laughs> Fluffy looking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm looking at it. What's inside? Raspberry? There's like a little cream in there and all that fluffy. It's filled with strawberry jelly and coated <laughs> with the rich chocolate. Jello. This is really good. Yeah, that is. This is really good. That deserves seconds. Mm -hmm. That might deserve. Because, like I, I said, it's really soft, <laughs> really sweet, but that strawberry jelly inside, oh my goodness, it kind of melts in it's your mouth. It's the strawberry and the chocolate, the, the berry and the chocolate <laughs> together is really good. <laughs> Lisa, you better be careful what you're asking for. <laughs> Alright, four for four. Four for four. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll do this next. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, this is going to be This a is kind of funny because this is Japanese peanuts in the Mexico box. So it says, don't let the name fool you. These Mexican peanuts were invented by a Japanese immigrant and first sold in Mexico City in 1945. So, Robert, if you're still watching, we'll see if they're better than boiled peanuts. Because I have yet to have those, but we'll see if they're better than boiled peanuts. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Victoria from work? Yeah. Hi, Victoria. My hair is Teeter Peter, girl. <laughs> if I can get this open. Okay. There we 
I really like those little donut things. He's going to eat us. Oh. There. Yeah, they're peanuts. Okay, they're peanuts. Literally peanuts. Mm. They're very, very crunchy peanuts. Oh, yeah. they're, they're really hard peanuts. They're very crunchy, hard peanuts. Oh. You have a funny face. <laughs> like John, watch it there. <laughs> I'm struggling, um, okay? Because I don't open nuts, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, they're good though. Mm -hmm. They're really good, but they're really, really hard. Like they are really, really hard. Like, kind of sweet though, but salty still. Yeah, they're definitely um. And they're more like chickpeas than peanuts. They're more like chickpeas. That that's they're more like chickpeas than peanuts. Maybe they're chick peanuts. <laughs> Japanese peanuts. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> let me swallow my peanuts. This is squinkles. 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 Just like it says there. S K W <laughs> Squinkles. And Squinkles is a slightly spicy uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> no pineapple flavored candy uh. with a tamarind filling. Damn. So this is gonna be on my mom because I'm allergic to pineapple. He doesn't do good with pineapple. Yeah. And Colin, what's up? And Lisa. <laughs> I have hard nuts. And John, it is definitely worth it. I think the size that I have for this, it costs $20. This is the bigger one? This, this is the bigger one. Because this one looks like a big box to this time. I mean, it's got lots of good stuff in it. This is the medium. So who is asking about the size of the box? No, he's just wondering if it was worth it. It's definitely worth it. So they're very soft and stringy like. I'll let her try oh, that. Oh, they're like, um. That's not me. They're almost like a gummy. Well, if they don't have pineapple in them, you could eat it. If it's um, pineapple flavor. Okay. They are a little spicy. They're like a gummy. Um. I like them. These are good. That means that when we're all done, those are all only mine. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good. Not too spicy. <laughs> I love this. Carlos the Fifth. Carlos the Fifth. Carlos the Fifth, named after a Holy Roman Emperor, known for introducing Europe to chocolate. These bars are wildly popular in Mexico. All right. What's up, Gary? And I have not got Ukraine yet. The closest I've been, I think it's France. Yeah. France and Poland. France and Poland. You, Europe was France and Poland. A lot of Asian boxes so far because we've had Korea and Japan. I'm going to just cut this one in half because I already know it's going to be good. Okay, I like squinkles. Squinkles are yummy. Mm. Cannot go wrong with chocolate. Milk chocolate. Carlos de Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like Carlos. The fifth. I don't know about the other ones before him, but the fifth one is good. Call him. You're wild, bro. Okay. different kinds in here of this. Okay, so I have a mouthful. Mm -hmm. well, hold on one second. <laughs> Chocolate and red wine are kind of tasty. And that and red wine is really good. So these are Pulparindo. 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 
This candy is made from the pulp of the tamarind fruit and is flavored with fruit, salt, and chili peppers. Mm. Sweet, salty, and spicy. Mm. All right. And you said there's more than one flavor? Yeah. This so we is... have the yellow flavor, which is... <clears throat> so we've got a yellow one, and we've got... A red one. And a green one. This one's watermelon, for sure. And then what is this one? Mango. mango. This one's mango. The leaves don't say. So this one is made with real fruit. Made with yeah, real fruit. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, right, so well, um, we're gonna do the yellow one and we'll see. see what happens. Blue pill or red pill? Looks stringy. Because it's made from the pulp of the fruit. So we'll see. There we go. Thank you. You can see it's like, I'm like mm. pulling it. Um, it's got an interesting consistency. It's not bad, but it's. Do we have anything that we... The taste is good. Um, you don't like it? The taste is not good. Oh, see, I, I mean, like it's it. It's good. It's sour. It is sour. It's like punching me in the face right now. Cool. So I guess I get several of these candies for me to keep this time. <laughs> it's like really sour. Mm, they are like really the like Sour it. Patch Kids, like the mm -hmm. sugar they have on it, like on the outside and whatnot. As soon as I touch that, I can feel like that sugary stuff on it. I like it. Do you want to try the red one? Maybe you'll like the red one better. Yeah, I'll try the red one. I'll save the rest for that. So the yellow one I get to keep. <laughs> yeah, yellow is all mom. Maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do the red one now. It's really good though, and it is a little spicy. It's not hot, but if there's a little kick, I even kick, noticed the spice. I noticed the spice afterward. You smoke spice? <laughs> no. Hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. That's all the yellow one said. I really like it. Get it out the wrapper. All right, this wrapper's done. <laughs> I tried to save it. That's okay. We have another red one, right? Yes, we have another red one. Because when we're all finished, I like to take pictures of everything. So when we get doubles, that's extra helpful. Okay. Oh, that's what this one looks like. Okay, this one? I don't care about this one. <laughs> okay. The yellow one was good, and the red one, not so much. This one's hotter. <laughs> so this one. Holy shit. <coughs> um, not as much as... This oh, is man, not this spicy. is really hot. This is hot. Yeah, this is really hot. Holy shit. Oh, gosh. Holy cow. I had a feeling. It was in a red wrapper. Like, come on now. It's really hot. I mean, I'll eat it, but it's hot. Oh, great. Made with real fruit? I don't taste fruit in there at all. I can taste it hot. <laughs> Good lord. Holy cow. Moving on. <laughs> that one is, um, I don't know, I need some peanuts. <laughs> Hang some on. Peanuts. Here. Is that the other one? God, I definitely need some peanuts or something. Shoo. God. That is really, something really hot. Something to take that out. Yeah. Um, that one, I'll probably want to eat the extra one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That was hot. If someone likes really spicy, 
Let mm -hmm. me know. I'll bring that extra But it doesn't you. have any <laughs> other flavor to me either. Mm -mm. There's like no other flavor. It's just hot. This is marzipan. A dulce de... Hmm. Okay, it's a Spanish word. So I'm not going to even go there because I, I don't speak Spanish. But it says a dulce de something, which is a peanut confection. This sweet and crumbly snack is a beloved Mexican treat. That is definitely crumbly. And that, um... It's already starting to crumble. That red one is nasty. Yeah. It was nasty. It was hot and nasty. That's what that was. Hot nasty. Right, so it already kind of crumbled, like it said, already. So it kind of broke in half, which is perfect. Okay. So but it's kind of so like a... Just so can oh. see the consistency. Oh. Like, it really does It kinda... breaks in your hands. Mmm. <laughs> or it landed, up. it landed on the uh, wrapper below, but it's continuing to break. Oh my gosh. Um, it's good. Very flowery and fluffy. It's really good, but it's oh harder. Like, it's kind of hard to eat. Kind of has like powdered sugar mm -hmm. on the outside. So that's another wing. Mm hmm. So then we have. Okay, we. These have... are gonna be chocolate covered ones. What we just had. Oh, so it's still the marzipan then. So it's still the marzipan. It's just a chocolate covered one. The other side. Anything? I think that's the extra size. The next size. Uh huh. How, so how much is the extra size one? I think it's like. The next size up is like 30. Not that much. So like if I throw in the uh, extra, we could do the large <laughs> one. So we might be upgrading <laughs> next time. There we go. So this is going to be, how do you say it again? Um, marzipan. Marzipan. Chocolate. Covered. It's, but it's a dull, I don't know if you say dulce or dulce. Is Does anyone out there speak Spanish? <laughs> because if someone else out there speaks Spanish, it's... D U L C E D E, and then it's another big long word that starts with a C. So I'm gonna cut this in half. And like I said, it's the same Is it thing. Breakable? It's just covered in chocolate. Okay, so it's probably highly breakable. Right. Mm hmm. I'm definitely crumbly. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I thought the first one was good, but the chocolate, mm -hmm. add chocolate to anything, it's good. This one is really good. Mm-hmm. Call them next month is... The Philippines. Philippines. And why can't you get it sent to Australia? Mm. It, like, breaks up in your mouth, though. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm, the chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think next month we're gonna have to upgrade because we will get we will get nine more snacks if we upgrade. I know, and then if we do the drink upgrade, we get three more. So we'll just have to look into that one. Okay, these are Mexican lollipops. We've included three most popular varieties: mango, strawberry, and watermelon. They start spicy. Then finish sweet. Actually, let's come back to these. Okay, forget the Mexican lollipop because we got what another lollipop. Yeah, but did you see the other side? Yes. Yeah, so. There's a. This is the creepy lollipop, and I've been looking at this. Hey, at Georgie. <laughs> Palita peoso. Oh, well, it might be good though. So he's a little creepy looking, but it says a delicious chocolate covered marshmallow garnished with sour gummies to create a cute, cute clown face. Yeah, no. I don't think clowns are ever cute. <laughs> yeah, really. Ever. No. So, um, this is the cute clown face. <laughs> oh, hi there, Sean. How you doing? <laughs> Should he say happy birthday to Robert? Yeah. Happy birthday, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're still watching because you just got an extra special. Oh, yeah. that's scary. <laughs>
It looks like he took some damage from the sun. You know, he looks like Mr. Bill. Oh, no! Yeah, this is a Mr. Bill, and I want to make sure he doesn't fall off the stick because it feels like he's falling off the, the stick. The Mr. Sluggo, like, slugged me, and, and look, I've got, like, part of my skin hanging. Yeah, so I'm going to oh, just take... Oh, mean Mr. Oh. Sluggo. All right, I'm going to cut into this and see just how this works. Oh. And it has been forever, Sean. What's good with you, bud? And the mean Mr. William is cutting my face. Ah! I don't have a cheek. <laughs> so it's a marshmallow. And so kind of like those chocolate covered, and it looks like it has like some sour patch kid candies for the face. He's not cute. There I don't care know. what the description says about this one. He is not a cute clown face. At all. Yeah, definitely some marshmallow stick to it. Mmm. It's like those cookies. Those cookies, but they're like, there's a cookie on the bottom, and then there's marshmallow and a shop up. That's good. It's not as sweet. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of bland to me. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, though. Okay. This is more of that tamarind stuff. So, I'm going to have to look this one up, because those candies that were, like, really spicy and hot was tamarind candy. And you know what? The clown leaves a really icky aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah, it does. I don't like the clown. I knew I didn't like that clown. Okay, so this is Pelon Pelo Rico, a delicious tamarind-flavored... Oh, this should be fun. A delicious tamarind-flavored goo... That's at once sweet, salty, and spicy. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to eat goo. And, um, the clown is not good. But I'll need to take his picture, or at least his rapper's picture when we're done. No, the clown is not good. Okay, so this is the car. I need to poke a hole in the top. It looks like the goo comes out there. Ew. Tamarind. Look, I have to look that I don't know what tamarind is because that was the pulp and there was something else that was tamarind. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this. Oh, there we go. That's kind of hurt, but I'm going to just take the cap off this one. So you can on. Or you can just use this one. Oh. There's two of them. So is there like one serving per? Mm -hmm. So why are we opening the second one? So like we can try it at the same time. Ah. So we can try them at the same time. And the... It's a very strange candy. Or snack. It's so like I have to poke a hole in it first. Tamarind flavored goo. So if anyone know what... It's like a syringe. That's what I was just thinking. It looks it, like a shot. It is a syringe. It definitely looks like a syringe. So if anyone out there knows what tamarind is before I can look it up, if you know, please let us know. <laughs> okay, well, I don't see anything coming out. Well, maybe it's not supposed to have a tamarind. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. Well, nothing's... Yeah, nothing's happening! It's like that. You know, I bet Victoria could come up with an interesting name for this. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, are you still watching? <laughs> it seems okay, like it's so, hard. So, um... So this might be difficult to do. The goo. How did you get the red thing off? Just put your finger down on it. I don't have any. Oh, I got it. Okay, so we might have to like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how does the goo taste? It's really thick and kind of nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Thick and nasty. I, I think it's supposed to be apple. 
Okay. But it seems like, yeah, it's not... Do a little bit of it. Ew. Ew. The goo is ew. Well, if you push it, it down like this... I'm done with the goo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Because the goo a little nasty. The goo is gross. Yeah. That doesn't taste too hot. The goo and the Mr. Bill cute clown isn't cute. The goo is gross. It's got a little bit of a kick, though. It does have a little bit of a kick. Alright, back to the popsicles. So we can end on the popsicles. So we can end on the popsicles, because the goo is not a way to end. Mm -mm. Okay. I need more wine. <laughs> This is what we're getting into now. I was say, I like, I need something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. So these are the Mexican lollipops. It says we've included three most popular varieties, mango, strawberry, and watermelon. They start spicy, but finish sweet. So I don't do want a whole... Well, I don't want a whole lollipop. Save it for later. <laughs> well, or we'll just like. You drank out of my water bottle. Which one? Doesn't matter. I don't know which one these are. This is clearly the watermelon. That's the watermelon. So one is strawberry and one is mango. mango. That's the mango. Oh, that's the mango. Yeah. So which one do you think? It doesn't strawberry. matter. Let's do strawberry. Strawberry is like usually safe, right? You can go open it. Oh, are we we're gonna do them separately? Okay. So I got the mango. She's got the strawberry. And I might switch to watermelon. And switch. I'm gonna switch to watermelon. And I'm gonna switch to strawberry. So, so <laughs> don't don't wreck up the wrapper because I like to take pictures afterwards. I have to restage the box afterwards to take a still picture. <laughs> Because I'm weird like that. Oh, it's like... Looks like a turtle shell. <laughs> Mine does not look like a turtle shell. <laughs> Hold that up close so they can see. That's the watermelon. Kind of has a sour kick to mine. Is yours salty? A little bit. Okay. I didn't lick that part. Lick that part. <laughs> See? It's really salty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> See, he doesn't want any more because it's really salty. Uh, like, these compared to American lollipops, lollipops here in America are, like, smooth slick and sweet this is like rough and like almost tastes like you put like old bay straight on the lollipop <laughs> people eat these apparently <laughs> but this one's not bad and ew <laughs> That's just, it's like dumb and salt in the palm of my hand it's like salt. It's just plain salt. Oh, that is the most disgusting. I gotta go get wine. <laughs> oh my word. And this is like... This is nasty. Hot when I stick it in my mouth. But then, after that, it's not. So like it said, it started hot. But yeah, these lollipops, yeah. I hopefully will never have another Mexican lollipop ever again. <laughs> that is just the most disgusting snack I have ever had in my life. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. That is disgusting. Feels like it just came out straight oh. out the Mexican desert. Whoa. No, this is salt. This is like salt. It's like a hunk of salt. I don't taste watermelon. I don't taste anything sweet. I'm not even putting it back in the wrapper. <laughs> I need something else to eat. Because that is disgusting. 
That is disgusting. I need the but, crazy clown after that, you know, before that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that was Mexico. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was Mexico. And Mexico was fun. Mexico was fun. Some good chocolate, spicy food. Not all the spicy food was good, but... But for the overall, I think Mexico was good. Poland was the best because it was really chocolate. Still so far, yes. Yes, Poland was the best. Um... The little donut snacks are really good. Mm -hmm. So, your favorite thing overall? Mm -hmm. My favorite thing overall would have been... Oh, that Twinkie thing, maybe. Yeah, yeah what do you think? Called? The Twinkie thing was my favorite over. That was... No. What's, what's that one? What's that one? This guy. No, that's not the Twinkie. It is. No, it is not. That's the pulp yeah, stuff that I liked. I knew it started with a G. Gansito. <laughs> Gansito. The Gansito is the best sweet one. And I like all of the savory ones, the crunchy ones. The tortilla, the chips, and the donut. And there's still some Gansito still left. Ooh. Not very good. <laughs> that was my favorite. And I liked the pineapple one that you did not eat because you can't. But... Mm. Yep. That one's the best. Mm -hmm. Very good. But the chips are really good. The lime chipotle ones are good too. Yeah. And the little donut holes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like these, too. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much again. We'll see you next month, and that'll be... From the Philippines. Philippines. We will be live from Williamsburg from with the Philippines. And I hope to see you all there. And do not <laughs> buy Mexican lollipops. Yeah, don't. <laughs> because Mexican lollipops are the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. But other than that, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed... Um, join us next time and we'll see you then. Thanks. <laughs>